Hello and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. I am Twisted Logic. We accidentally breached the um, the brook here. Now this is going to be an infinite water source, and um, down below we started digging out some bedrooms. So I really don't want this to flood. Um, the water depth is pretty low in this area, and we're building some walls here to try and damage control the area. Now I'm also... I'll unpause it now and let them see, see if we can get these walls built in time. And uh, we got a new artifact, um, Llama Wool Skirt. Okay. So we got these two walls complete, and this one's also complete. Excellent. So I'm going to turn box select on for digging. So I'm just going to dig a uh, tunnel here at a pretty high priority. I'm going to come down this way. Maybe like uh, four wide. to the edge of the map as far as I can get. I'll just X this part out until I'm ready. Now, so the fortress isn't going to flood. Um, but this new part of the fortress here, the basement of the um, temple, starting to flood out a little bit. I'm just going to build a floor over top of this. I was going to make a farm here, but uh, we'll see if I still can. If we can maybe I'm not really sure how to get this yet. We're gonna try to um just see if we can drain the water off the map here. Well, stuff like this will happen sometimes as long as you can damage control it. It'll be alright. that. So, let me go back to Dwarf Therapist. Okay, so to build that a little quicker, I adjusted the jobs here. So I'm just going to set everything back. And I got one more pick, so I'm going to make another miner. are the migrants.
So if you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up, let me know what you think in the comments, and subscribe for more videos. I'm just going to build in two doors here for a um, some flood control. And I'll go up to the mason shops here. Yeah, so we're building doors here. Not sure if um, not sure if I'll be able to get this plugged up or not, but we're gonna see if I can. So what I'm doing is I'm digging a tunnel to the edge of the map here, and I'm gonna build in a bridge here just in case. Build G bridge. Put this across the whole thing. Raise to the right. And I'll put a lever here for this bridge. Oh, we found some dolomite. I think, that's a, I think we already did, though. Yeah, we got dolomite up here as well. What is this? Fluffy wambler. Okay. So we're building the bridge here, and the idea is if we can get enough, if we can get enough um, this flow to go off the map, we might be able to get in here and um, do a little bit more damage control. If if this area here is a loss, then that's fine. Long fish, maybe then then maybe we can um, maybe we could turn this into a fishing area or something. The important part is that um, the rooms here didn't get flooded. Down here we got some a little bit of water right down in the bottom. That's fine. Nothing too bad. Lever up here. Okay, we're going to link this uh, bridge. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but not a total loss if it doesn't. Okay, this is going to get smooth stoned. Priority one. Just the wall. Now, the car 
fortifications. Engraver Guild. I'm going to deny the adventure and we'll just leave the Engraver Guild on hold. So now we're carving fortifications at the edge of the map here. It should the water should come down and off the edge of the map. I don't know if that's going to be enough flow um, to allow this area here to be accessed or not. But we're going to find out once these doors are constructed. Let's dig another area for um, this new. Guild hall. 10 by 10 right there. Test this lever. up here. Just need that second door and then we'll dig this. Gain some swimming. Just check on this a little later. And if, um, if that area is a loss, then we'll just flip this lever here and build a wall here and just forget about that area. Okay, so build, construct, four.
for his own. Is it the uh, meeting hall location. Add G. Oh, what was this? Um, engraver. Okay, I don't think this is, uh, I don't think that's relieving enough pressure here. The water is going off the map now. Might have to come in this way. Dig out. To get downstairs here. I can Let's see I could take a channel there. Yeah, I was kind of just doing that quick and not paying attention. So maybe I need another coffee. See if that works. He's sleeping there. Why don't just fall asleep? Okay. Seems all right.
Got a fish down here. I might be able to set this up as a fishing zone. Build a metal crafters workshop. F Metal Crafters Forge. Put that over here. Also build a gem setter's workshop, jeweler's workshop, two of them. I'm gonna go to um, orders, workshop orders, and then G for auto cut gems. Shift G, and now I'm gonna hold that, hold the down button, and just tap enter every once in a while to kind of randomize this list. And maybe a little later if um, we're not cutting enough gems, then we'll go back and do the same thing. Dig, designations, core fortification. is uh, pretty useless right now. Okay. So right here. Dig H. Designations N, and we're going to remove the construction here. workshop and I'm gonna add a uh, pipe section repeat that range is gonna be one to two I'm gonna also add a um, uh, an enormous wooden corkscrew yes Range is going to be one to two. Let's see if we can now uh, see if we can build a pump right on top of this. I'll 
discharge it back into the water here if we can if I should pump here or here I'm thinking I'm thinking if I pump this down right here I might be able to build a wall there but maybe I'll pump this one I'll try it with both maybe actually designations in to, um, X I mean to remove that one Interesting. So if you build over top of the brook and then remove that construction, it turns into fire clay and sand or whatever that tiles. It doesn't turn back into a brook space. So I think I can remove all of this construction now. And it should be safe to remove all that. this now builds construct wall and I'm just going to pause the recording until most of this work is complete Follow him and see where he's going. block stockpile I'm gonna press um, G to give to a pile or workshop and then I'm gonna come down to this new barn block stockpile and press enter barn block stockpile number eight is gonna to give to barn block stockpile number two and if I go to not if I go to this one it's gonna take from barn block stockpile eight and the settings here are the same just stone blocks only So build, construct floor. Just gotta put this down here as scaffolding. And 
got to unconstrict this one too. I forgot to build the scaffolding on this. Mysterious construction just started. I'm just gonna go into um, dwarf therapist quick. Just set the stewards to help out with uh, deconstruction. Okay, so I'm gonna go to build and then machine components. So shift M and a screw pump. So S. Now I want this to. You can set the direction, the orientation here with U, M, K, and H. And I want to set it to pump from the west. And now you put the, you put the pump so the dark green space here counts as a wall. And the light green space they can walk on. And then I think I'm just going to put it like this. I believe it's just like that. And so it's going to need blocks. It's going to need a enormous corkscrew. I made mine out of wood. And it's also going to need a pipe section. And I also made mine out of wood. I could build a water wheel and stuff, but right now I'm just going to see if I can... Once they build that, uh, I got a wall next to it on this side. I'm going to build the wall here and here. And then maybe channel down in this area. I got away from most of this to deconstruct first. And then maybe I could pump out this block, this water source right here. Maybe I could pump that down and build a wall around it. And if not, I might have to try and pump this one out. So Errol built a uh, silver bracelet here, which is great. So if I press shift and L, uh, I'm not sure where it is here on the menu. Uh, here we go, shift L for artifacts. And now I can look at any of these artifacts. We've got a cage, a uh, figurine, a skirt, and a bracelet. We're going to take a look at the cage here. Um, and then V for description. Uh, this is a willow cage. Craft dwarfmanship is of the highest quality. This object is adorned with hanging rings of willow. On the item is an image of point cut gem in date palm wood. And there's also an image of narrow crescent in kumquat wood. Okay. Scaffolding did its job, so we can deconstruct that. I think I'm just actually just going to cancel it for now, since this section doesn't make a difference. I think it looks maybe it looks better with the floor here, but I needed to uh, 
get this part done here. So that just freed up a lot of dwarves to do some other work. Let's go to J here for jobs. Take a look at what kind of, how much work we have. Let's we'll store some items. A lot of floors to be built. Cut gems. Oh, not that much. Okay, so that gets unsuspended. Build the wall right there. And um, unsuspend that. Now I don't know if he needs if they need to access this right here or not. Maybe they do. Oh no, he looks, looks like he's building it. Needs masonry, okay. So I'm gonna actually build the shell of this um, pyramid using these two towers in the back section. So I'll build the two towers up and the pyramid in the center. And uh, we'll see how high I can get that. I think it's... um. It's like 25 or 24 blocks high before the I reach the build ceiling. Scaffolding here did its job. Designations end to remove construction. We'll take that out and replace it with a wall. Okay, the pump's built now, so we're going to enter to start pumping manually. Remove that, that was an accident. See if that'll be enough to, to uh, bring this down even further. I need to get the water down to uh, one depth. There we go. Oh yeah. Build, construct, wall. Uh, I'm gonna have to see if I can pause it when at the right moment. There we go. Build, construct, wall. Put that right there. Granite. Now we're going to have to see if they can get over to it. No accessible building material. I think that four right there is going to be a problem. Because they have to swim. Once the water depth gets to four or higher, then the dwarves have to swim. So... I might have to pump this out a little bit more. Uh, but that's working now. Pumping right here, so... As long as somebody can keep that up... Long enough, then we'll be able to get those, the whole amount of water down. And wall this part off. Oh, see, now they're coming in to dig this. Here. Blocks. Build, construct, wall. There. Granite blocks. Okay. Now hopefully if that dwarf on top keeps pumping long enough, we'll be able to um, not drown anyone. I guess I probably could have done that from the beginning, but uh, that's fine. Grab 
great. So now we can enter to stop pumping manually. And with the pumps, uh, if we need to, to purify water, so if we had lakes that were stagnant water or muddy water on the map, and also if we had salt water, then once we once we pump the water from one spot to another, then um, it'll actually purify the water as well. So, end to remove construction. There we go, and now we got our farm back and we got our basement back. As soon as all this evaporates, it's gonna take a while to evaporate. The water's gonna slowly make its way to the edge of the map here go off the side and, and now it's starting to actually evaporate in some places down here since we have no more flow coming in and that is how you repair a leak if you accidentally if you accidentally hit it the main thing you got to do is just do do it quickly so you can damage control why is there a door there oh that's the bridge Actually, we can remove that bridge, and uh, we can also remove this lever. And we'll just have to wait a while for this to dry up, but we'll get it eventually. Basement graves of beers. We're going to have to put some graves down here, and we're going to have to put some beers down here. Build, construct, floor. Just build the floor in on top of this. Let me suspend that. Starting to shape out this uh, temple pyramid. And so now we're starting to get our pyramid temple um, fortress completed a little bit more. Anul has been appointed to the position of diplomat of the crafts of fog. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe for more videos. We'll see you next time.